Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today we're back in New Orleans and we'll be driving around City Park on the south side of Interstate 610. Dating back to 1854 and officially established as City Park in 1891, City Park is approximately 50% larger than New York City's Central Park at 1,300 acres. Although this is an urban park whose land is owned by the City of New Orleans, it is administered by the City Park Improvement Association, an arm of state government, not by the New Orleans Parks and Parkways Department. City Park is very unusual in that it is a largely self-supporting public park, with most of its annual budget derived from self-generated revenue through user fees and donations. In the wake of the enormous damage inflicted upon the park due to Hurricane Katrina, the Louisiana Department of Culture, Recreation, and Tourism began to partially subsidize the park's operations. Just ahead is the New Orleans Museum of Art, the oldest fine arts museum in New Orleans established in 1911. The permanent collection at the museum features over 40,000 pieces from the Italian Renaissance to the modern era. Coming out of the circle, we cross this bridge over what remains of Bayou Metairie. The bridge is marked 1938 on one end and WPA on the other, which stands for Works Progress Administration, which provided funds and labor for expansion and upgrades to the park in the 1930s. This main road that runs across most of the southern end of the park is named Roosevelt Mall for Franklin D. Roosevelt, President of the United States from 1933 to 1945 and creator of the WPA which made this park possible. Along this stretch of Roosevelt Mall, we can see many examples of what makes up the world's largest collection of live oak trees, some of which are as much as 800 years old. We make a U-turn at Bo Bassick Circle, named for the late director of the City Park Improvement Association, who did extensive work to restore City Park's antique wooden carousel known to locals as the Flying Horses.
We turn onto Stadium Drive, which refers to the nearby Tad Gormley Stadium ahead on the right. Along the left side of the street is the City Park Narrow Gauge Railroad, which wraps around the southern end of the park with a station inside of the Carousel Gardens Amusement Park. We'll catch a glimpse of that ahead on the left. Unfortunately, the train wasn't running the day we filmed this video, so we won't get to see the train. Here, the name of the street becomes Dreyfus Drive, named for City Park founding member Felix Dreyfus. Ahead along this stretch of road is the City Putt Miniature Golf Course, the Gold Ring Waldenburg Great Lawn, the Peristyle, Pops Bandstand, and the old casino building which now houses Morning Call Cafe and Parkview Terrace. Most of these are out of range of the camera, but the Peristyle, built in 1907 as an open air pavilion with a colonnade, is visible on the right. We turn on to Turner Lane, named for Charles and Betty Turner, who were heavily involved in the Louisiana Tennis Association. On Victory Drive, we pass by the New Orleans Botanical Garden, Storyland, and the front entrance to the Carousel Gardens Amusement Park. Storyland can be seen on the right, featuring larger-than-life storybook sculptures dating back to 1950.
Having reached the end of the park, we'll take Marconi Drive, which forms City Park's western border, and head back to Roosevelt Mall. We'll take Roosevelt Mall at warp speed since we just drove this stretch a few minutes ago, then we'll slow down to normal speed again. We turn left onto Henry Thomas Drive, named for the head golf pro at City Park from 1933 to 1987. Thomas passed away in 2005 at the age of 94. We turn onto Fredericks Avenue and on the left ahead is the McFadden Mansion, once owned by Texas oil millionaire William Harding McFadden. The former home has been the location of Christian Brothers School since 1960. We conclude our tour of City Park at the corner of Fredericks Avenue and Wisner Boulevard. We'll be back in a week or two with a drive through the northern half of City Park. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos come out, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 road trip.